Developing tonight, the majority of Americans believe that children should be vaccinated against measles. That is according to a new Reuters poll of about 2,000 adults. 77% said that their kids should get the MMR vaccine even if their parents object to it. 85% believed all children should be required to get vaccinated unless there is a medical reason not to, such as an allergy. Now, yesterday, the CDC reported that there are now 764 confirmed cases across 23 states, including Arizona. Tonight, only on 12, we're looking deeper into the controversy over vaccines. Team 12's William Pitts is breaking down some of the myths and truths about vaccination. Will? The number of people who aren't vaccinated has risen to dangerous levels. So what's fact and what's fiction? And why don't people believe the facts? The anti-vaxxers first claim that they cause autism. Here's the history of this claim. This guy, Andrew Wakefield, no longer a doctor, you'll see why, he and some colleagues published a study they said drew a link between autism and the MMR vaccine. It has been completely disproven. Uh, there's been a lot of research specifically looking for a connection between autism and vaccines, and it has been proven that there is no connection. There are minor side effects that can occur in some patients, but all in all, vaccines are safe and they do not cause autism. A review found they falsified their findings, only picked the results they wanted, and they were stripped of their medical licenses. Dr. Wakefield lost his license, but unfortunately, the momentum towards people fearing vaccinations continued. Second, mercury. Anti-vaxxers think the mercury in vaccines causes autism. This comes from a chemical called thimerosal, which the CDC says was taken out of childhood vaccines in 2001. Thimerosal is a uh, compound that has a form of mercury called ethyl mercury. That's actually eliminated much quicker from your body than methyl mercury, which, which is found in fish. So that sushi is actually more harmful for you than thimerosal. And one that Dr. Ruha gets a lot, formaldehyde, one of countless ingredients in a vaccine. Also the stuff in your high school science lab. That's kind of funny because formaldehyde is in our bodies naturally. It's a natural organic compound. We make it uh, as part of our own normal metabolism. So toxic formaldehyde in vaccines, not true either. How many years did you go to school? <laughs> I would have to count them up. I went to a school from, let's see, when I was about probably five years old until I was 30. Nonstop. So a lot of years. <laughs> but sometimes schooling just doesn't seem to matter. Some beliefs don't change. It really has to do with a phenomenon that psychologists call motivated reasoning. And it's really natural. People just sort of believe things that they want to believe more easily than things that they don't want to believe. Dr. Peter Ditto studies why people would rather believe these kinds of claims than admit they're wrong. You know, what we're uh, experiencing now, I think, is a crisis of trust. Uh, people don't trust institutions anymore. Here's what is science. Every single credible study, all of them, show no link between vaccines and autism. The latest and the biggest studied almost 660,000 kids from 1999 to 2010. The result, no link between vaccines and autism. But Ditto says none of that might matter. Anti-vaxxers will probably ignore everything we've just said. It's called the backfire effect, that when you try to convince somebody of something that isn't true, then they very often will believe it more after the fact. But Ditto says that doesn't mean you shouldn't stop trying. Eventually, some of them might come to believe it. And of course, there are also people who have compromised immune systems and can't get vaccinated. That's where herd immunity comes in. Your vaccinations help them stay healthy. William Pitts, 12 News.